Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be replacing uh, wheel hub on a Scion FRS or Subaru BRZ. But what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna show how to remove and replace brakes in the meantime. Uh, because it'll be it'll be about the same procedure. You have to remove the brakes, so we'll show you how to remove the brakes. So we'll be installing our old brakes because uh, uh, we don't have new ones, and those are still probably good. We will inspect them. And uh, if they're not good, we'll order new ones. So stay with us, we're gonna check it out now. Make sure that you jack the car up, use the jack stand, take the wheel off. So stay with us now. Okay, so what we need to do now, we need to compress the cylinder right here. Okay, and you can borrow tools from auto parts stores, but you can do it by hand actually with a screwdriver with those. And uh, we got this one compressed. You can see how much it moved. You need to compress the, the piston inside the caliper and now uh, with a 14 millimeter socket we're gonna take this two off there. Okay, like that. So uh, we can go ahead and remove the, uh, remove the caliper out of there. Okay, so we're going to take those off now. You need to get a big zip tie. Oh. Or a wire, something uh, heavy duty zip tie would be great actually. Because now when you pull the caliper out, uh, you will need to uh, tie it for the shock. So it's not hanging on the, uh, on the holes, on the brake line, because uh, you can damage it. And that could, be, that could be pretty dangerous. Okay, so that's how we're gonna tie it now. Just right there. Okay, and we're gonna leave it like that now. Okay, next we'll remove the brake pads and now it will be the time to inspect them as well. So they're still pretty good for factory brake pads, as you can see. Uh, 50,000 miles and they're still not wore out. And a couple races on them, so that's, that's still good. They're holding good. Okay, so that's how you guys remove the brake pads now. Stay with us and we're gonna show you how to how to put them together. Uh, what else you need to do, uh, very important, so you don't crash the car when you start it. So we will also show you guys how to remove and replace the rollers now if you need to. We'll, we'll be removing this one, so we'll show you how to do it. And remove the bracket for the brakes there so we can, uh, we can get it out of the way. We'll need to pull the roller out. So these two bolts on the back with 17 millimeter socket. We need to go ahead and get those loose and take them off. And those are pretty tight actually, you can see. So we want to see now if we can do them with a the little ratchet once you get them loose. Yeah, and then we will go by hand. It's a pretty fun little car. We have a video guys how to do the dance pedal thing on its code uh, when you turn all the traction control systems off, which is pretty great for drifting. Okay, the one there now. We can go ahead and remove the bracket. Alright guys, so uh, if you get two bolts like that, uh, you can remove the roller, they need to be the same thread, and uh, you're going to go a little bit on one, then the next one, and you can see how it pulled the roller out of there. So now you can go ahead and remove the bolts, we don't need them anymore, that way you don't hammer the roller out of there and damage it. Okay, right here. Okay right, guys, that's the roller, that's how you remove it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead in, in a little bit and put things together and show you how to install the brake pads. So we're ready to install the disc. Uh, you can see the roller is here now. We put new, new hub, new wheel hub, that's the old one that was causing problems that I told you we're replacing guys, it was really noisy. 
so we replaced it only about 80 90 bucks online free shipping so now we need to apply some thread lock on the two bolts there that's for the mount for the brakes you need to get those tied um, because it's very important it's no joke working on the brake system of, uh, of cars you need to do everything the right way Okay, like that, and now we need to we need to catch the bolts on the back. Okay, one is in. No, the second one here. And when you buy new brake pads, try to get the one with the new shimmers or whatever they call the plastic uh, those metal metal plates here, and. Uh, you can apply there a little bit of brake grease, okay, so the, the brake pads slide really nice back and forth. Okay, now we're gonna get them tied by hand because the little impact is not enough. Okay, that's enough and one more. And after that we'll be installing the pads. It's very important that you can press the piston remember because if you install new pads uh, it will it will take uh, uh, they will be bigger and you need to make sure that the caliper fits on top of it. Okay, right there. So we're gonna clean our shimmers a little bit before we before we apply uh, before we put the pads together now. Okay, you can see where it has a little bit of rust, the brake, brake dust and all that stuff here. And those are the pads. We'll be ordering high performance pads soon to replace them. Because you can see those are pretty, actually pretty hard I think. For being uh, 50,000 miles on them, they're still, still pretty much like new. Okay, so let's see if we can get them in now. Okay, need to press this one down a little bit. Go where it's supposed to. Press the other one in. Okay, so if you put the top in first and then the bottom, it's easier. Okay, now the one on this side here. So if you get the top in first and then the bottom, it's easier that way. You need to make sure that everything is lining up good. Otherwise, it won't go in and you might damage the those uh, metal glides here now we are going to uh, get the caliper and it's very important guys to do something stay with us until the end because if you don't do it right now you get in the car the first two three times you hit the brake pedal even more you might not have brakes at all and yeah it does happen you'll be surprised how often it happens at brake shops when new people work there okay so we're going to install the two bolts now that we have here okay one of them here and then the other one over there get those tight okay this one still needs to be adjusted a little bit okay like that so now we need to do them by hand make sure it's good don't use too big tools because those are not very big bolts. Okay, like that. And now you need to go inside. Okay, check out now how it's going to compress now. We're gonna press the brake paddle about 10 times. Okay. And until one of them, okay, hold the brake paddle and try to turn make sure it's catching otherwise if it's not holding good uh, it means that it still has play because the, if you compress the uh, piston a little bit too much it needs to come out so we can push the brake pads to contact the roller so uh, that will be the whole procedure guys thank you for watching just install the tire and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos